Understand? After all, 
It is my money I want to spend. Yeah? And I also heard that uh, the doctor from Ghana is very good. So it is that very doctor, that specialist I want to see. But Baba, who can say that Ghana got to do it all of this? Eh? It's gynecologist, not Ghana. Look at that man, gynecologist. Eh? You want to you want to you want to confuse me, Ali? Mean. You want to confuse me? Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. So, madam, there's really no problem with your baby. Just ensure you do all the things I advised you to, and everything will be fine. Thank you so much, doctor. You made everything sound so easy. I, Thank you. Yes, doctor. I, yeah, I really appreciate you. In fact, my, my fears are already gone. <laughs> Thank God. All we pray is that God will continue to keep us to continue to provide excellent healthcare services to you. Amen, Amen, Amen. doctor. Amen. Thank you. So, see you at the next appointment. Ensure you take very good care of her. I certainly will, doctor. I certainly will. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, doctor. <laughs> Have a nice day. Yeah. All right. Excuse me, doctor. We have a special case here. A special case? How do you mean? In your system, you alone attending to him. <laughs> so, you are even a woman. Oh, daddy, yeah. I like Ghana women. One do buruku. Ghana? I'm a woman, yes, but I'm not from Ghana. I'm a Nigerian. Uh -uh. Rebecca? Is this not the Ghana specialist I told you I want to treat me? Eh? Oh, you people have started to play on my intelligence again. Baba, it's now called Ghana Specialist, but a gynecologist. Eh, it doesn't matter. As long as Ghana is involved, I am okay. That's okay. I, I see where the confusion is. I'll handle it. All right, doctor. Please sit down, sir. Thank you, Jali. Doctor. Are you from Ghana? <laughs> eh, I am not from Ghana. I am an original son of the soil from the western part of this Nigeria. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, sir. So, what can I do for you? Um, is your wife or daughter in need of gynecological attention? And why didn't you come with them? Uh, no. <laughs> I am the one that needs your attention. Not my wife or my daughter. Really? What can I do for you then? Uh, when I heard that uh, you are a specialist, I decided that you are the one that will treat me. Because uh, those other doctors of yours, they don't know their work. <laughs> of course they do. We are all trained medical professionals here. Mm. I don't think I'm the one that should be giving attention to your case, but just go ahead and tell me what's wrong with you. Mm. <clears throat> Doctor, you see, I usually have pain in my head, eh? And all the joints in my body. Are you understanding me? Now, if, if, before I talk one thing to your doctor, they will start writing long story on my card. Eh? With their jaga jaga and writing. And at the end of the day, they will now start putting small, small shock, which they call tablet, for me to be drinking. Ah, with you. Well, like I said earlier, I don't think I'm the one that should be handling your case. I specialize in an area of medicine called gynecology. And this is a branch of medicine that has to do with um, female reproductive health. <laughs> no wonder. So that is why the only female in Ghana always have a big, big reproductive part of the body. So it is there they train special doctors like you, eh, that and that and those women uh, matter. Oh my God. Ghana, oncology. Ghana. Just impossible, Ghana. sir. Gynecology has nothing to do with Ghana. 
It is a nomenclature for a branch of med. Never mind. Hmm. I will not mind. Just attend to me. I think I'll uh, have to refer you to Dr. Rotimi. He'll be of better service to you. Uh, why? Treat me by yourself now. Are you not a specialist? But, sir, I just explained to you, I specialize in women's reproductive health. Doctor, a woman cannot reproduce without a man. So, why don't you treat a man first? Then, you treat a woman later. But, sir, your problem is not related in any way to reproduction. If, for instance, you had come in here with a case of primary or secondary infertility, then I would have recommended some tests to be carried out on you. Primary or secondary infertility? I think uh, it has been a long time now that I left primary and secondary school. Right? And I still remember I used to fertilize with the, the, the girls in my class then. Ah, Rebecca, you have never put an end to this your gossiping, eh? Baba, please leave me alone. Who told you I'm gossiping? Uh, sir, please, um, I have an emergency now that I have to attend to, but I promise as soon as the emergency is over, I'll attend to you again. I hope you're not sick of it. Because you know I have not been with you to the hospital. Abigail, and I'm here again though. You know when somebody is approaching old age, yeah, funny funny things used to happen. And they say prevention is better than cure. I feel so I am only taking uh, precaution in my head. And thank God also that you have children and brothers that you need money to take care of your health. Good, I thank you. Abigail. If it is not for them, hey, I probably would have killed you. Ha! Ha! Papa! Eh? Don't give my own money for me. Ha! Eh! Eh! Hey, Rebecca, can I see you? What is it again, Papa? As you can see, I'm taking the patient to go to the hospital. Yes, I can see. Then I was wondering whether this girl that looks like a powder and all inside the water is the one you are taking to see the doctor. I think she gets the day and the rest. 
just go and sit down there. I will come back later to take you to go see Dr. Rosie. Ah! Rebecca, you can lie. Hey, can you imagine? Hey, this Rebecca lied to the doctor that uh, there is an emergency simply because he wants to take her inside. Go! You will come and pick me here. Nabi, one day me too. I'll get tempted and I'll use this broomstick. I'll break your head. Uh, uh, I know you cannot do that, my love. <laughs> no, doctor, wait to me seriously. I don't like it. I don't like it when you sneak up on me. Well, I, I know you like it. You're just pretending to be a good girl. Me? I'm a very good girl. Go to church, do everything legit. You're just the one trying to spoil me. And besides, this is an office. I don't want problem. See, nobody will give you there's no reason to fear. Is that what you think? With all these busybody nurses. Okay, you know, like last week, uh, what was her name again? No, Sharon. She almost caught us. Imagine how terrible that would have been. Nobody. I don't want trouble. Nobody will catch us. Nobody will catch us. Let's just go into the toilet and do a quick one. Go where? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything today. You can see I'm, I'm already high, eh? Let's just go and do it. I said no. I am not going anything to them. Me, I'm not going anywhere. See, honey, I'm going to give you money. Eh? You know you like it. Oh, Dr. Rotima, I said I don't want to do now. Eh? I don't want to do. Is it by force? Allow me to do my job. No, stop talking loud. You know, these nurses will just hear you. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Just, let's just go. What do you mean now? Let's go. How much will you give me first? Wait. You just tell me any amount you want. Oh yeah, wait, calm down. You said light wash. <laughs> you think I'm afraid? You were pregnant. And you say you don't know how it happened. I'm very disappointed in you. You're indulging in unprotected sex and you don't know how it happened. Sorry. It wasn't my fault. No. It was my fault. Because I was the one that enjoyed it with you. Hmm? While you were having sex with God knows who. Or were you raped? No. I was not raped. I didn't want to do it at first, but I don't know how. Okay. Just calm down. Tell me what happened. It's a very long story. Doctor, I really need you to help me get rid of it before my parents find out. They will kill me. See, I can't help you if you don't tell me what happened. Okay, I'll tell you everything. But you have to promise me that no one must hear about this. Please. Sweetheart. I'm your doctor, but I promise to also be your friend. Now, who is responsible for your pregnancy? My, my stepfather. What?
still have a very long time now. Rebecca, what are you doing here? So sorry, Doctor. I was looking for you. Yes, you see me. What do you want? Um, I, I wanted to find out if you're free to see the next patient. Is there any emergency? No, Doctor. It's just a couple of um, outpatients with minor ailments. Let uh, Dr. Chuma handle it. Uh, um, I think I need a break. And as you can see, my office is being clear right now. Yes, I, I can see that. Where is Abigail? Were you inside there while she was cleaning the toilet? Don't be, don't be silly. I, I, I just went in there to, to show her what to do. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You better be. But you know, listen, I told you I didn't want to do, but you will always force me to. Now, Thanos Rebecca, she's suspecting something. I know that one, her mouth is just like radio without battery. She'll just go everywhere now and broadcast rubbish. Relax, she didn't see us. She, mm -hmm. didn't, she didn't see anything. She knows anything. She knows anything. That is how it happened. Anytime my mom travels to her frequent trips to Dubai, he sneaks into my bedroom and have sex with me. I was so scared I wanted to tell my mom, but I don't know how. Oh my God. Since when has this been going on? Until I realized two weeks ago that I'm pregnant. <sighs> See, take it easy. Hmm? Calm down. I have forgotten if she said second door on the left or right. I think it's this one. 
prepared. See, Abide, I've not had enough of you. Let's go inside the toilet. And My mom, eh? Go inside where? I'm talking about the one you just did that you heard talking about and that one. Not going anywhere. Why are you doing this to me? No, don't see, leave me alone I, I will now. lock the door, no body way. Lock, lock what? I said leave me alone. Me, I don't want to do this thing again here. Eh? And besides, I have plenty of work to do. If Matron comes now and starts to, 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 to shout at me, will you come and defend me? Who is Matron? I will simply tell the Matron you are doing something for me. Okay? Let's sit down. Oh, come on. You see, you see yourself? You can never be serious with your job. Eh? What are you listening about? Uh, I did not see anything with my face. face. You know. uh, maybe I should come back uh, some other time. Baba, please come inside. I was just showing here. Uh, uh, I was just showing her what to clean under my box. Sorry, under the chair, under my table. Well done, no, Abigail. Chair. I can see you are very busy with your work. Thank you, Baba. I try my best. Doctor, oh my, yeah, you are a sharp guy. See the way you are holding the apple of a big ass Come, who train you, sir? Eh? Baba, I, I don't have time for your idle gossip. If you don't have any better thing doing, just get out of my office. <laughs> As you can see, I'm very busy. You are busy. True, true. Doctor, go. See, be so loud. Crying is not going to solve this problem. Ooh, stop crying. You really have to help me get rid of it before my mom and my whole dad finds out. Don't both kill me. Abortion is not an option. Hey. We don't do it here, and I will not recommend you do it anywhere else. It's a sin before God, and it's illegal. But I can't keep this pregnancy. I don't know what I'm going to tell my mom. I don't know what to tell her. That I'm sleeping with the husband. I don't know. You should have thought of that before you did what you did. By the way, does he even know you're pregnant? Yes. I told him. He gave me some money to abort it. Doctor, listen. My stepdad is very rich. Any amount you want, just tell me. He's going to pay you. Just help me get rid of this thing. I beg you. Thing? You call it a thing? Well, my dear, that thing, as you refer to it, is a human being growing inside of you. It's one month old, but it's alive. I know. But it's also a product of a sinful and abominable act. So you want to cover one sin with another sin? I'd like to see your stepfather. Can you bring him here tomorrow? I don't know if he's gonna come. I don't know. But what do you need him for? Don't worry about that. Just bring him here. Do you understand? Yes, please. Good. What of your mom? She's traveled again. I think she'll be back next week. Look, dear. I want you to go. Keep calm. It is well. Hmm? I'll yeah. see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Abigail, so this is where you are. I have been looking for you since. For what? And this one you are vibrating like a sports engine. What's it happen, Kwan? What were you and Dr. Ritmi doing inside the toilet in his office today? Eh? Yes. Are you all right? What kind of stupid question exactly is that? Exactly what one? you had. Then something is wrong with your brain. In fact, eh, your village people have fried your brain so that you don't get sense again at all at all. What kind of stupid What do you think I was doing inside the toilet to him? Look at this good for nothing cheap eh? cleaner. 
Me. Yes. You. Dirty. Mm -hmm. Cheap cleaner. Mm -hmm. Wait, though. Is this coming from your mouth or has the devil possessed your body? Whatever. See, let me warn you. Hey. This should be the first and last hey. I will see you mm. and Dr. Rutimi together. Stay away mm. from him. Mm. He is my man. My husband to be. Hey. My hey. one and only. So mm. back off unless you want to get yourself in trouble. Rubbish. Hey! Me, Moa. So that stupid doctor has been sleeping with the two of us for this long. Ah, what was I thinking? How can you be this stupid, happy girl? No wonder this idiot doesn't want me to come to that court house to come and see him. And that stupid fool, so because she, she's a nurse, she, she, she thinks she can come here and talk to me anyhow. I don't blame her now. It's myself I blame. No wahala. No wahala. Oh, ah. Hey! You will see. I don't, I don't blame you, idiot. See, I mean, because you are still here. Don't go fire you. You don't have sense, idiot. We're coming. You can taste this bed for now. This bed? I hope nobody has ever died on this bed before. I don't know, Baba. But this is completely against standard medical procedure. You are forcing me to admit you against my will. I am not forcing you because I am not a doctor. And I also know that romancing the cleaner during the official working hours is also against standard medical procedure. You cannot blackmail me with that, Baba. Because you don't have any evidence against me. I'm only doing you a favor because of your age. I don't know why you insist on being admitted here. You are not doing me a favor. After all, it is my money that I'm going to pay for being admitted here. Okay. And moreover, let me tell you, I have come to relax here and enjoy myself for a few days. Baba, this is a hospital and not hotel where people go to relax and enjoy themselves. See yourself. What difference does that make? Eh? This hospital is even better because people like you are here. Eh? To take care of me in case over enjoyment wants to kill me. <laughs> Baba. Baba. I don't know the kind of enjoyment you intend to find here. But you are really putting me to a tight corner. What reasons am I going to adduce for admitting you? Good. There's nothing wrong with you, Baba. Good. <laughs> that makes you a doctor. Eh? If only you are a professional. Look for a reason. You understand? A very good reason for admitting me. Or oh, do you want the whole world to know how you have been squeezing the trace on the chest of Abigail, the killer? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Small, small girls think they are the only ones who know fashion. <laughs> they have forgotten that we had it long before they were born. Yes, madam. What can I do for you? Doctor Rutini is admitting that Baba for overnight observation, so he brought his file. That old man again, eh? What is wrong with that old man again? Why is this man giving us problem in this hospital? Mitron, that man is a pest, eh? It's so unfortunate that I have to be on, on duty this weekend while he's here with us. But his condition is not critical. Why is Dr. Rotimi admitting him? I don't know, and I certainly don't like it. Okay, drop it, I'll file him up. Wahame is too much. You can go. Um, pardon me, Matron, but what did you do to your face? My face? What about my face? Oh, not you know. It's just that I have never seen you as beautiful as you are today. Um, 
<laughs> the makeup is good. Wow. Okay. Are you going somewhere? Must I have to go anywhere before I look good? Wow. Don't you know that looking good is good business? <laughs> anyway, thank you. <laughs> All right, ma. All right. It's okay, ma. Good morning, dear. Excuse me, Miss Anna Vigo. Sorry. You didn't clean my office this morning, why? No, I cleaned it before you came in the morning. Come on and clean it again, it's dirty. Okay? Oh, okay, let me just get my phone. Okay, hurry up. Dr. Juma. Oh, Matron. Um, I was just going through the stuff. Really? Then. You know, head to your office later. Are you sure about that? Yeah, yeah. But you got distracted staring at the cleaner, isn't it? <laughs> Me Ah, I don't know why you like saying things differently. Oh, really? Yeah. Then, how may I be of service to you? <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> between my eyes. <laughs> what does it look like? I am on admission now. Uh -uh. Admission, okay. What is wrong with you that you have to come and lie down on, on, on the sick bed? The doctor I said I have to be admitted because I need closer observation. Ah, sorry. Mm -hmm. So, what is wrong with you now? Eh? Did you acquire any serious disease? It is you that we acquire serious disease. Look at her mouth. Eh? Between me and you, eh? who is qualified to acquire a serious disease? Calm down now. Eh? Just... You that uh, the doctors are pressing your watermelon anyhow during the official working hours. What do you mean by watermelon? Eh? Eh? What do you mean? It's eh? Will you stop that, you naughty old man? What is wrong with you? <laughs> are you here? I am fulfilled now. Even if I die, eh? I am fulfilled. Ah, the thing is very succulent, soft, and eh, just You see, eh? Now I know why not Rebecca and, and, and not Sharon always say that you are a very responsible man. Eh? You have just proven them right. You see? Don't mind those nurses. You understand? It is because they don't, they know that I do not like them. You are the only one I like. That is why they are jealousy. Is that why you want to come and press my breast without permission? Yeah, don't be annoyed now, eh? I don't know if I need to take a permission now that I do. Now, please, can I touch it again? Yes, if, you, if you try it, you're not serious. Does my breast look like, look like, like toys that I can come and touch and play for fun? Eh? eh? Abigail, I am not like that. Eh? I don't intend to touch your breast for fun. Oh, Marimbo, I wanted to pay and compensate you. But, you know, you remember, my children, Wale and Olubumi, they are both in America. They send me dollars all the time. I will spoil you with dollars, you don't share. <laughs> mm. Yes. Dollars. Benny. <laughs> so what is wrong with you? Because you got consumer by way, you know. Come Wait, see. <laughs> Calm down.
Hey, baby. Are you going home already? I told you to stop calling me baby when we're in the hospital premises. Someone might hear you. I don't care if anyone hears us. There's nothing wrong about you being my baby. Well, I care. I don't want tongues wagging about us. You don't have to bother about that, baby. There's nothing wrong about having a relationship. Look, Rebecca, I don't want to stop talk about this right here, okay? Uh, you, you know the way rumors spread like wildfire in this place. Okay, then. I'll see you later at home, okay? I, I, I thought you are having... I mean, you're walking throughout the weekend. Mm -hmm. Besides, I'm not going on tonight. I, I have Vijay in our church. Vijay? Yes, Vijay. If you. <laughs> Please, when did you start attending vigil? Or you mean to say vigil at the nightclub with Harlots? <laughs> vigil, you. Why does he always treat me this way? I don't deserve such treatment from him. After all the love I give him. Why? That's not nice. Mm. Uh, open it and let me touch it properly now. Stop now. Uh uh. It's okay. Pay me for the one you have touched. Let me go. Ah uh ah. -uh. Abigail, you did not even allow me to touch it to the fullest of my satisfaction. Eh? It's enough. I don't want anybody to walk in here and come and see us. <laughs> like I saw you and Doctor. <laughs> I don't no, concern you. See, Baba, pay my dollars. Let me go. Come. How can I pay you for? The team that I, you did not allow me to even touch very well to the point of satisfaction. I don't know even satisfied. Yeah? Point of satisfaction. Benny. See, Baba, we had an agreement. Yes. Touch and pay. Mm -hmm. You have touched me. Now, give me my dollars. Let me go. <laughs> See, I have told you, when I was touching, you are the only one that is enjoying this thing because you are making all sorts of noise, showing that you enjoy it to the fullest satisfaction. The me that is touching you, Gongo, I did not enjoy anything. Full satisfaction? Uh, Do I look like a prostitute to you? Hey, but when I, what money are you expecting me to pay you dollar for? Eh? See, Moka, don't play with me. 
Give me my money, let me go, Biko. I don't want I don't want problems. Uh, let me see. The issue is but there is that. Let me Kuku touch it. Leave me now. Uh -uh. Yeah. Bia, Baba. Give me my dollars and stop wasting my time now. Hey, you know one thing. If you want the dollar, come closer. Let's do the real thing. So now. where? Let's leave me now. Uh -uh. The door is open. Do you want somebody to come in here? See. Let the door open. I've got into the point of no return. Come on, so not into the Baba, point of me. Oh! Baba, what? <coughs> what is going on here? Abigail, what is going on here? <coughs> Major, God will bless you. You even work at the right time. Help me to ask her. This girl wants to collect my dollar. Ah, dollar. Where did you see dollar? Ah, it's a lie, you Metro. He, he promised me dollars and now he, he's changing his mind. Metro, please help me to ask her. How can I give somebody dollars for nothing in this period of recession? What transaction did both of you have that involves dollar? God will bless you. Help me to ask her. Abi, what bridge did your Julius Berger construct for me to warrant me you pay you dollar in Nigeria in this time? If you want to attend to the old man, who will? Dr. Rotimi has taken off to God knows where. And you alone are left to attend to him. Come on, sweetheart. Let's stop talking about this old man and let's discuss about how you and I will spend the weekend together. You and who? <laughs> Please, stop calling me sweetheart. I'm not your sweetheart and I will never be. I know your mellow plain heart to get. Look, I see the way you stare at me sometimes. And I know you like me. We're going to make a good couple together, you know. In your dreams. <laughs> Please, since you won't attend to him, give me his file and let me go and take care of the man. Look, look, this man, man, man. The only thing is there's no, there's nothing wrong with him, you know. He just comes to this hospital to disturb everybody. And the last time I attended to him, <laughs> imagine it was, he was calling me a baby doctor. That's because you actually behave like a baby doctor. <sighs> now give me the file, let me go. Ah. Fine. Suit yourself. Suit yourself. Don't say I didn't warn you. Thank you. Um, sorry, um, but that's fine. What about my request? What request? No, um, dinner tomorrow night. Oh, dinner? <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow night. Yes. Thanks so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not interested. Damn. This lady's she's, she's falling hard to get. But I'll get her. But tonight, 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 I can't, I, I can't be alone tonight. Um, maybe he, Rebecca or Sharon. No, no. Abigail will be much easier. <laughs> Just. You should be ashamed of yourself, Abigail. Fighting with a patient on admission instead of you to take care of him. Don't you know that your salary comes from the money he pays us? Hey, Don't yeah. you? A stranger in the metro, I doubt me. Her maybe she needs to be educated. She does not know that everything I pay is in the services she's rendering to me. Come on, get out of me and go and do your job. You are so lucky he's not a medical director that caught you fighting with a patient. You would have been sacked instantly. I'm sorry, ma'am. I apologize to Baba Jagadia too. Sorry, Baba. I did not hear anything. Is that how to apologize to an elder? Kneel properly and apologize to him. I'm sorry, Baba Jagede. Please forgive me. Hey, that is better. You now stand up for forgiving me. Go, go and do your job. Thank you, ma'am. I wonder, I don't know what is wrong with this girl. Hey, Metro, you see? Omadi Luichi, they call it useful, useful exuberance. I asked. 
<laughs> yes, Baba. Eh, hey, Baba, hey, please, uh, bring the dollar. Where is the dollar? Metro, which dollar? Ah, the dollar she was trying to collect from you, of course. Baba, wait. Do you think I took side with you in this matter for nothing? Eh, hey, Motola, wow, bring the dollar. Wait, let me wear it. Ah, so, Metro, you want to know, Jassy? You are John Jassy. You thought I came to Lagos to count bridges. No, bring the dollar. Bring it, bring it. Ah. Metro, Metro. Uh, ah, I hope it's original dollar. Uh, I think I'll be carrying one fake dollar. Am I stupid? I beg. Baba, this is one dollar. Come, how much were you expecting? I thought it was a hundred dollar note. This is less than 500 naira. Then, Baba, add to it. <laughs> add it, go. Add it. Whether it is one dollar or a hundred dollar, dollar is dollar. Show me. By the way, sir. What did you do to me to warrant me giving you my dollar? Uh, did you give me any service? Service who? You. Service you. Come now. I said, come on, leave me. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Come, Metro. Uh. About who? I'll tell them to throw you out. No more time. Ah! This one you are painting your face like this this evening, like mommy water. Are we safe? Abigail, you have come again. Hey. Eh? Tell me, have you seen mommy water before? Uh uh, they are very like you now. You know, seeing the way you're shining. It's red I lipstick and everything. I don't even know whether to take it as an insult or a compliment. This is a, this is a compliment. Sha, thank you. Thank you, compliment. Sha. Oh, wait, though. Eh? Why are you making up now? Eh? It's almost your closing time. Or do you have a date? Hmm, me? Date care? No. I'm going to the church. Huh? For a vigil. Church? Vigil? Mm -hmm. And you're packing all this pancake on your face, red lipstick, all these things. Who will be looking at your face this night now? My sister. So, because somebody is going out tonight, eh, I should not look like a chimpanzee. I don't know where you see somebody yes, now. Uh, right. you, have to, you have to pack it. You're right. You know, eh, had it been you told me on time, I would have just prepared and followed you now, eh? Hey, yeah. Because I really do not want this Baba Jagger's Wahala this night, eh? His Wahala is just too much. I'm so glad I won't be spending the night here with him around. Hmm. Hello. Okay. Um, Sharon. Hmm? I'll be going to the backyard. This whole place has suddenly become so crowded. And you know me, I'm allergic to crowd. Okay. I would have gone before you come back, Sha. You know I will. Thank you. Some people will keep running forever because of their guilty conscience. Which people are you talking about? <laughs> Don't mind me, Jerry. I was just thinking a lot. <clears throat> come. Are you sure everything is all right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's about handing the shift alone, I, I could stay back. <sighs> no, it's okay, you can go. At least, I will need your help tomorrow, when I hope to go out. Hmm. And I hope by that time, they would have discharged that basket case in the private ward. Because God knows I can't stand that man. Hmm. I just pity the both of you today. You, you mean Baba Jagede? Jenna. Don't worry, sit down for me. I know how to put him in his place. <laughs> I trust you, you will just finish him with your ah, razor blade mouth. <laughs> Thank you. I'm looking very pretty. Thank you, my sister. Yeah. It's for the Lord. <laughs> ah, please pray for me. Oh. Okay, sure. All right. Let me start going. <sighs> How are you feeling, sir? My daughter, it's you. You see, um, this my pains from head and joint have now moved away from there. It has gone to my damn below. Doctor wrote to me, recommends you rest very well. Oh, doctor, I've always told you. Eh? That doctor does not know his work. He just abandoned me here and he has not come back ever since. 
Don't worry. Dr. Rotimi will take good care of you. He's a trained professional, just like the rest of us. I have never seen anything pro about that man. Talk less of fashion, man. Eh? But babe, now attend to me. <laughs> but I told you before, I can't be your regular doctor. I'm a gynecologist. Uh, in that case, I don't need a regular uh, doctor. It is you I need to be treating me. <laughs> okay, no problem. We'll work something out. <laughs> but in the meantime, I'll have to send Dr. Jumal to you to recommend something for your pains. Dr. Jumal? Mm. Ah, that youth copper baby doctor. <laughs> eh? His case is even worse than that. Olu Jubingo. They call the Rotimi Abi. But, sir, uh, he's the only one that can actually recommend anything for you. I told you. I deal with female reproductive health. See, that is what I've been trying to remember ever since before you came in. You see, because every of those my pain and uh, sicknesses have gone away from both head and joint. It has not gone to my reproductive system. Uh, you see, all I need for you now is to help me to massage it. To massage it? Yes. You see, you decide that you massage it or you call any of the nurses to massage it for me, ha. and I'll be all right. Do I remove my clothes? Ha. Baba. Have you? Baba. Did I mind not paying for the services you are rendering to me? Check it. <laughs> Let me remove them and then come, come on. Hey, Ansel. Hey, hey. I used to work here. Uh, yeah. Um, going through this material one more time before uh, the surgery on Monday. Good. Yeah. I, uh, I want to get to my quarters. Okay. Will you still come over later in the night? Yeah, sure. I'll be with you shortly. All right. I'll keep the back door open then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No problem. All right. Yeah. Oh, do not keep me waiting. Uh, why? Look, I'm even more excited about this than you are, okay? Right. See you soon. Okay, I'll be with you shortly. Right, dear. Just get ready for me. Mama will be ready for you when you come. <laughs> okay. All right, dear. Okay, I'll be with you shortly. Sir. All right. Inside the world. What? I will wake every sick person up if you don't tell me what I'm looking for. Under my dress. I think it is easy. Don't you know what you keep inside there? Eh? It's you that will tell me now. You are the one to tell me what you kept under my dress that you're looking for. Uh, you see, I, 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 I'm sorry. You understand? Uh, don't you know that uh, I am being carried away by your beauty? Eh? You are the most beautiful girl in this whole hospital. And that is why you have always been intoxicating me. Mm. Uh, so that is why you have to come and look inside my secret chambers without permission, Equa. After everything you did to me in front of me earlier. See, go, go to punish you this night. You want to look for what, what? What do you think you're looking for? Come, see, it is because of that that I have come to beg you. Don't be angry. Eh? I, have, I have brought you the donuts that I want to give you to get to you down. Eh, eh. You have come to beg me. Where is the dollars? <laughs> it's in my pocket. What is it doing in your pocket? Bring it out now. Uh -uh. Hey! Dollars. Alone. In my hand. Yes. I 
Abigail have arrived. See, eh? you have not arrived. Eh? Just cook, agree to come and sleep with me upstairs because I am afraid to sleep there alone. And we had more dollars for you. Abba, eh? you are an old man. Eh? Why are you scared? Ah, Koyeni, are they being you understanding me? You see, this is hospital. And wishes and wizards and evil spirits used to come to hospital Papa, to come and do evil at night. There is no wishes and wizard or evil spirits in this hospital. This hospital has been tabashed and scattered and all these things are not in this hospital. Oh, Kuyeni, if you know what I'm talking about. You, anyway, if you need the dollars, just agree to come and meet me. I will, uh, I will have more dollars for you. Yeah. Yes. How many? Two. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Yes. I come and be going and come. Uh, are you sure I should be going and expect you? Ah, ah. Do you want all this busybody not Rebecca to come and find us? That, oh, no. That's come in. Babek, don't keep me waiting. I will. Go, Papa, I go. I will not disappoint you. No problem. Go. <laughs> You've been edgy since yesterday, especially around Abigail. And now, Dr. Rosemary, Becky, what exactly is the matter? There's nothing wrong. Oh, good morning, doctor. Oh, <sighs> good morning, Dr. Juma. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. So, how was the show last night? It was really great. <laughs> Thanks for covering up for me. Uh, oh, there was no incident at night. No, no, no. Everything went perfectly fine. You know? Yeah, I heard the sound of your uh, door being opened, so I quickly canceled the check on you. Thanks, man. I had to come early, you know. The medical director always shows up here on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why I was a bit worried about you coming here on time, you know. <laughs> yeah, after clubbing last night. <laughs> well, thanks. It shows that you're a very good friend. No, it's not bad. But as you can see, I am here now. Mm. No hangover, no broken waist. <laughs> So, <laughs> you said you're very funny. <laughs> I tried my best, you know, as a child of God. Uh huh. One has to always. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Uh -huh. 
I saw you arrive this morning. Mm. Mm. I went to that shop, that shop across the street, I went to buy something. And I saw you come down from Dr. Rutin's car just before he got to the hospital gate. <laughs> oh, big girl. Mm. Ah, ah. There's nothing you don't see in this hospital. Mm. <laughs> nothing ever escapes your ego eyes. It's not my fault though. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Eh, yeah, but it's not as if I spent the night at his place or anything. No. I just saw him along the road mm. and he gave me a lift. Mm. Mm. That's all. Though. And he dropped you off before he got to the hospital gate. See, Moshawn, you just have to be very careful about that man. Hmm? He sure knows his way around women. And I suspect he is sleeping with Nurse Rebecca. What? Eh. I, I mean, um... Really? Mm. Sleeping with Rebecca? Yes. That cannot be possible. Eh? It is possible. In fact, very possible. See, I know Dr. Rutin. He is a sharpshooter. A chronic humanizer. Nkitala. Pum! Obago. Really? Yes. But, 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 how do you know all this? Have you ever seen the bottle of them See, together? It doesn't matter whether I've seen them or not. You just have to be very careful about that man. That doctor wrote to me, he's like a dog when it comes to women. So when you see him, run for your life. All these doctors. I don't even know what to believe. Yes, yeah, so don't believe anything they're telling you. They tell you to stay, run. They tell you to run, stay where you are. I don't even know what to believe anymore. My sister is terrible. I just have to tell you because you're my friend. Yes, Because uh, you know if you're not my friend, I'll, I'll just leave you if you like. Do whatever you Abigail, want. Abigail, let me know to stop your work, eh? And mm. I don't want the metro to see us. No problem. Okay. Be careful, no. Remember, you see him run. Yeah? You <laughs> did Abigail, oh. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Abigail, let me rest now. Don't kill me. Oh. What does it say? Oh. Baba, are you alright? Baba, wake up. You're having a nightmare. Uh, where am I? Uh, are you a sitter? Am I in here? God forbid. You're in the hospital. What is wrong with oh, you? Metro, uh, Abigail, is it, uh, Metro, is it you? It is me. You must have had a bad dream. And you were calling Abigail. What happened? Uh, uh, Did you go to hell? No, Mr. Uh, it is Abigail. Abigail. That girl wants to kill me with sex. Which Abigail? Our own Abigail or who? And how does she want to kill you with sex? Sorry, Mr. Uh, it's a dream. I just realized it's a dream. Dream? So you are still having such a useless dream? At your age, you have a corrupt mind. Metro, where did you read it from? Which dictionary tell you that for a man to have a sexual dream eh, is a useless dream? Eh? Every mm. dream mm. is a reflection of your thoughts. Yes. You must have thought of having sex with Abigail before you fell asleep. Uh, when then? After that, what is your home? Eh? Are you Abigail? Eh? Or oh, you want me to go do it? With you? In reality. If you are looking for someone to kill you, eh? not me. You want to try me? You want to try me when you could not handle ordinary Abigail in your dream? Metro, see, it's not by size, you. If I handle you, you will divorce your husband. Baba Jagede, eh? if I handle you, eh? you will die. Patak, patak. Ah. You will just die. What did I do? I just heard you mention my name. Ask your dream lover man. He will tell you. Baba, you have a corrupt mind. God. Baba, you know? oh, eh? Eh? What did I do? What, what were you discussing about? Abigail, congratulations. Eh? 
Congratulations. I just discovered that that matron of yours is a witch. She's a witch? Eh. Uh, you, you are a wizard. Please lay down. Let me mop this place and go and sleep. We go. Good morning, Bisola. Good to see you again today. Yes, ma'am. I really have to come here this early because I really need your help. Okay, um, where's your stepfather? I thought I asked you to come with him today. Yes, I told him, but he refused to come. Instead, he planned taking me to a different hospital for the abortion. I really got scared, so I had to come here this early. What? What? What's wrong? I really wish I could just get the police to get this man arrested. But I don't have any case because this is not rape and you are above 18. I know, doctor. Please. Please help me. I really need your help at this moment. I have so much confidence in you. I, I know you could do something about me. Just prescribe any medicine. Write anything for me to just get rid of this. Sweetheart, whether by DNC or drugs, abortion is abortion. It all ends in the termination of life. I will not do it. And I repeat my advice to you. You shouldn't get, go anywhere else to get it done either. But I can't have this baby. I can't have this baby either. My mom will kill me. Would you rather offend God and please your mother? God would understand. He, his message endures forever. He, he will understand. But my mom is the problem here. You need to understand me for Christ's sake. I understand. And I still insist. I want you to have this baby. I want to have this baby. I want to dead and have this child. Come back here. Don't do anything stupid. Bisola! Baba, talk to me. You are welcome. Can you imagine what your people serve me as breakfast? Eh? Four slices of bread, one egg, and hot water. That is standard breakfast, Papa. Even at your age, they're not supposed to give you egg. So, what are they supposed to give me? If I want to eat egg in my house, Doctor, eh, I can boil like half a dozen. No wonder you keep from it here. You need less cholesterol in your system. That's why you need to cut down your consumption of eggs. You people have started the game. Eh? You see, you people like to be confusing people. What is this you have just said now? Cholesterol. Eh? Papa. Cholesterol. Cholesterol. Eh, cholesterol, whatever. You understand? You see, our forefathers, when they want to eat egg, eh, they eat plenty of egg. Are you getting me? They live earlier and stronger than all of us put together. Papa. Cholesterol is a substance that can clog up the blood vessels when they are too much. And that can lead to heart complications. And cholesterol can be found in egg and other fatty foods. Oh, that means that uh, egg can cause uh, hypertension? Um, something like that. When the blood vessel is clogged up, it will ultimately lead to high blood pressure. And that is hypertension as you know it. And it may degenerate to stroke or cardiac arrest. That is if any of the blood vessel is um, ruptured. Doctor, you see, thank you. I hear yeah. that. You see, from this point, eh, call your people to come and carry their property. I am no more interested in this their breakfast. You understand? Beg them for me. Tell them to get me a mala. They will do with beggary. Eh? They should look for bush meat. Eh, wrong way. Or better still, it be, you know, snail. Let them serve me. Papa. Eh? I am sure in the kitchen they don't have any of this in the menu. But don't worry. Eh? I am going to discharge you this morning so you can go home and eat whatever you like. Oh, Tio. Discharge again. <laughs> no devil who can discharge me from this hospital until I am ready to go home by myself. Baba, eh? why are you doing this? You know there is nothing wrong with you. Or you want to put me into trouble? <laughs> Dr. Rotimi, point of correction. 
I am not putting you into trouble. Secondly, I want you to remember one thing, that my being on admission in this hospital is not free of charge. Eh? I am paying for every services I am getting. Are you getting me? So, the truth aspect of the case is that I am running away from my two wives. If you see each of them, one of them is like bulldozer. Eh? I cannot stand them. And they are always troublemaking. I don't want to die yet. That's why I'm here. So, don't harass me. Whatever I need, you serve me and send the bill to me. I will pay. There is dollar, there is money. Eh? She can, she can tell them to go and do for what I want. Uh -uh. me know now. Nonsense. Look, you just have to trust me. What if you go and do something stupid and damage your womb or even lose your life? Hmm? You have nobody to blame but yourself. But how do I face my mom if she finds out who is responsible for this pregnancy? Let her face the truth. It may hurt her a great deal or even lead to the dissolution of her marriage. But it's better she knows the kind of man she's married to. No. She'll hate me or even kill me. No. Huh? No. When is she returning from Dubai? That's right, then. But I spoke to her last night. Good. Let's wait till she returns. This whole mess is partly her fault. But I can't go back to that house. My stepfather will do anything possible to let me get rid of this pregnancy. Don't worry. I have a solution. Come with me. Just pull yourself together. Hmm? You don't have brain damage. Please. Doctor, how will you I'll know? get back to you later. I need to catch that girl. Doctor, doctor where are you going? Doctor, my. Oh! Which kind of bad habit is this now, eh? This is the only thing you job, JJ. What kind of rubbish is this? But wait, do. Does she have syphilis? Oh, gonorrhea. No, it has to be something more. With like HIV or Ebola, yes. What is that why she come and push me? Let me send and walk. Sit down. Like I said earlier, you're going to stay here till your mom gets back from Dubai. Hmm? We'll call your stepfather later on and ask him to bring your things here. Doctor, I know he'll keep against my brain here. He'll forcibly take me to a different hospital though. He would not dare. You're not a minor. And you can insist you want to be treated here. Don't worry about the cost. I'll take care of all that. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. Um, Abigail here will take care of anything you need. Hmm? Thank you so much. You are so kind. God bless you. That's fine. Abigail, please take very good care of her, okay? Thank you. I'll see you later. Thank you. doing on admission in a hospital? Listen, it's so complicated right now. 
you will you won't understand. It's complicated. I want to understand. Who told you? See, me I understand complicated matters very well. Unless you don't want to tell me. She be where the girl that pushed me down some minutes ago. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, I'm truly sorry. Forgive me. It's okay. What? Who was chasing you? It's nothing. I was just mad because of what the doctor said. Ha! What did the doctor say? Did they see HIV in your blood? God forbid. How could you even say that? I can never have HIV. Amen! Amen. But what was the problem now? Eh? Did you see syphilis or gonorrhea or staphylococcus? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Nothing of this sort. Mm. It's just complicated. You won't understand. You don't want to tell me, Abby. See, I'm a nurse. So eventually I will find out what is wrong with you. Nurse? Mm -hmm. Since when? I, I thought you just a uh, common thing. <laughs> eh. So that was why you were looking down on me. It's not like that. Mm. Well, for your information, I am an auxiliary nurse in training. Really? Uh -huh. Then I'll tell you everything. Uh -huh. Anyways, my name is Lisa. My God. <laughs> I am nurse Abigail. In training. Nice meeting you. So what is wrong with you? I know it's you, not a boy. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, very busy now. I'm trying to put together the medical report from the medical director. Wow. Um, are you sure? But you know, I cannot be too busy for you, my boy. <laughs> are you sure he's still going to show up here today? He will come. Mm. He probably stopped over at the other hospital. <laughs> you know what? I wish we could sneak to your quarters and finish what we started last night. Come on, not a boy. I don't have had enough. <clears throat> you didn't let me sleep a wink all through the night. Uh, I can't get enough of you. Mm. you know, I never knew you were this sweet. <laughs> <laughs> How would you know? <laughs> when you're busy chasing all those young, young nurses who are still in the game. How did you know? Ah. But you've not seen anything yet. Hmm. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Mother, Jesus. Rebecca, what do you want? Uh, not, nothing. I, I mean, I came to give you the admission from the doctor's training patients. Drop it and get out. Rebecca, come back, come back here. What did you see just now? I, I didn't see anything. Else. Not I let it be me like that. I do not want to hear any woman a gossip about this. Understand? Very well. Um, sorry, Doctor Oga Juma. What is it? She not knows it belongs to me. What is it? <laughs> Again. I mean, you look like you just seen a ghost. No, I'm not seeing anything. But I just wonder why male doctors are so promiscuous. You really seem to have something against this Dr. Rotimi. 
I mean, what did he really, really do to you? That one is even worse. He's cursed with women. But I'm not referring to him. So, who are you talking about? Dr. Jumal? What happened? All I know is that when it comes to women, all the doctors in this office are not to be trusted. Becky, you've been behaving strangely of little. And I know you're speaking in parables. You say something now. Sharon, I have said all I should. You just have to open your eyes and ears and see things for yourself. I knew you both would be here doing nothing. While I'm there, up there, nobody's attending to me. Baba, what do you want? You see, let me tell you. Eh? You see, in this whole hospital, it is only Abigail Ayo that is a better person. All true. Oh, Baba, please don't call me and insult us. Just tell us what you want. Uh, I want to see Abigail Ayo. Who cares about that one? I don't know where she is. Just tell us what you want. Baba, Abigail is somewhere handling serious matters. What exactly do you want her to do for you? Uh, I need her to come and do something for me. This thing doesn't have a name. Talk of the devil. Baba. Abigail, are you? Good afternoon. Okay. What are you doing downstairs? I was just asking them about you. It shows that you are the true daughter of your father. Yes, so. There is no bastard in our family. It is certain. Uh, I, I need to talk, tell you something. Okay. You are going to do something for me. Okay. And I don't okay. want to say it in the presence of these busy, busybody people. My nose, me, oh. Abby Sharon. She, you are the one they are referring to. God cannot allow it to be me that they are oh. referring to. Baba, come, let's go, Jerry. The busybody already knows herself, and I'm very sure that guilty conscience is biting her inside. He's killing them. Let's go. <laughs> let's go, please. Let's go, please. What F on you? Sharon, share your head what that girl just called me. Share your head. Oh, Becky, I didn't hear her mentioning your name now. You're here to tell me what's up between the both of you, because you have been acting funny since yesterday. Me. Mm -hmm. You know me, I can never have any issue with that boyfriend snatcher. Eh? Oh, Rebecca, who are you calling a boyfriend snatcher? I hope you're not referring to me. Uh, no, Metro, how would I call you a boyfriend snatcher now? <laughs> it is better. Because if I hear any nonsense, you will see. Sorry, ma. Rebecca. What was that all about? Who is snatching whose boyfriend in this hospital? Ah. Wow, people should be carrying me along. I don't know, I'm not even understanding again. Mm. Ha. Sure. Boyfriend again. Do you understand? There is no other person that is worthy to be living in this hospital with, except you. Abigail, <coughs> <coughs> see. Since you left me in the morning, eh, you have not even come back to come and check me. It's not good now. Eh, sit down, I have something to do. Baba, leave me alone now. Uh -huh. You've started, though. It's too early for all those things. What do you want? I hear that. See, I need your help. I want you to do something for me. Sit down, let me explain to you. Help? What do you want me to do for you? Eh, you see, the kind of food your people serve in this hospital, I don't like it. So I want you to be cooking for me. What is wrong with the food now? God bless you. For example, in the morning, eh, they brought a uh, bread at tea. Uh -huh. In the afternoon, they brought yam and beans. For God's sake, are we in the prison yard? 
Oh, but but it's balanced diet now. Eh? It's for your own good there to nothing, make you healthy. There is nothing balanced about that diet. That is precisely why I need your help. Help? Yes. Uh, you see, I will, I will give you some money. You will be going to the market and be buying food and be cooking for me. Eh. Uh, uh, as what? Your wife, I'll be your daughter. Which one? That way, yeah, it could be at anything. You understand? You know, as you are very good in bed, I am know you, I also know that you'll be very good in the kitchen. See, see, Baba, eh? if this is what you have called me to come and tell me, you better tell me, let me leave this. What kind of rubbish is this one now? Eh, don't be annoyed, so you the, 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 don't mind me. Eh, the actual thing, you see, I want you to be cooking for me different kind of delicacies. Mm. Mm. So what kind of dishes are we talking about? Yeah, that. <laughs> Shabi, you know Amala. Uh -huh. hmm? yeah. uh, both people call it pounded yam. Yes. <laughs> Fufu and eba. Eh? With only shiri shi meat, like bokoto, abodi, shaki, fuku, edo, eh? bush meat. You know it be? Snake. You understand? You will buy all of them join together and cook for me. Mm. Eh? Rats, Nko. Rats, Bawo. See, you better go and call your wife to come and prepare all those kind of dishes for you. A big girl, one now. Is this, nah? We have not finished our discussion. What are, are we discussing? See, Baba, I am very busy. I have plenty of things I'm doing in the hospital. Be quick. Oh, what can I do to get this girl now? Eh? I know you have had her, I have had her in the dream. But how will I be able to get her in reality? Ah, Abigail, you will not escape. Oh. I don't mind even if you I finish all my dollars on you. Wale, at your look me, they will send me more dollars. In this hospital, if I don't get you, I won't go. Come here. Becca, what do you want? You have been avoiding me since morning. Why are you treating me this way? How do you mean? You'll be treating me as if I don't matter to you anymore. As if I don't exist. Rebecca, this is one problem with you that I don't like. You're always very presumptuous. Please just go away. This is exactly what you said to me yesterday. Sending me away as if I don't mean anything to you. What have I done to you? Rebecca, you have not done anything to me. I, I want us to keep this relationship strictly professional when we're in the office. Can I ask you a question? And please be truthful about it. Shoot. Are you banging Abigail? Rebecca, don't be ridiculous. What gave you that impression? Just because I was with her in the, in, the, in the toilet the other day, showing her where to clean for me. That's why you were quickly jumped into a conclusion and I'm banging her. Isn't that how you used to bang me in the toilet too? Don't you ever say that again. Don't. Rubbish. She just slapped me. Mad dogs. Rubbish. What the heck is wrong with her? <laughs> what is funny? Scumbag. She gave you a hard one across her face, didn't she? Get out of here. Oh. Come on, doctor. You know these losses are sweet. But they can be mad. They can be mad at times. Especially when you're cheating on them with their colleagues, you know. What are you talking about? Oh, come on, Dr. Rosemary. You know what I'm talking about. Huh? You've been banging those two nurses and Abigail secretly. You must be out of your mind. I can see you have nothing better to do with your time than to listen to idle gossips. <laughs> well, sir, 
um, you may be much more older than me and far more experienced as a doctor. But trust me, we're in this together. <laughs> and I look out for my competitors. <laughs> I am not in any competition with you. Oh. I know you like them older. Like the Metro, for instance. Surprised? But I watch out those who are trailing my footsteps. You're a champion, sir. A good one at that. Get out. <laughs> get out of my office. Get out. Get out. I say get out. Idiot. You won't face what you went to medical school to learn. Abandon me like that. It's not good now. Eh? Is so. it because I'm not a woman? <laughs> I didn't abandon you. I thought you'd been discharged by now. The doctor said you'd be discharged by midday. Besides, don't mind that one. I already told you that that doctor does not know his work. How can you discharge a sick man who has not gotten well? Sick? You? You look as healthy as a horse to me. Ah. <laughs> okay. Ah. Don't make me say who. Is it because I'm walking about? <laughs> exactly my point, sir. If you were sick, you would be lying down, not moving around the place. Oh, you see, I am not only trying to take a fresh air. You see, I am also trying to exercise my bones. Eh? Moreover, this your nurses does not know how to look after somebody. They didn't come to check me up. Eh? Especially this one that is standing beside you like a redundant electric pool. Doctor, real patients are waiting for us. Excuse me. Excuse me. How will they come and take care of you, sir, when all you do is insult them? Hmm? I don't even need it. Eh? You know what, eh? I be get <laughs> The best of all the nurses in this hospital. Ah. No problem, sir. Um, let me go and take care of my patients. Uh, you will go. Wait first. You go and take care of them. But I want you to come back and uh, to examine me. Because I, I still want to confirm if I, I am able to score goals from every 18 and every angle. Do you still play football? Ah! <laughs> you are good at that limited. Go and check for my wives, the two of them. Eh? They will tell you how I used to find out from all angles. <laughs> ah. You're very funny, sir. I'll see funny. you later. Ah. Doctor, it's not about funny. Oh, Mary. If you give me privilege and opportunity, I will score go. <laughs> ah. You are your dad. I'm a bad, you man. So you called your stepfather. What did he say? He said he cannot come today, but he asked the driver to come see me with some provisions. Oh. Good. What about your mother? She hasn't called yet, but I'm sure she will probably be later in the evening. Oh. Don't worry about it. Um, just keep telling them what I told you till your mother gets back from Dubai. Then we're going to sort this whole thing out. Okay, doctor. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm, I'm just scared about how my mom is going to react to this whole issue. She loves the husband so much, but the man is so unfaithful to her. Don't worry about it. Everything will be just fine. Okay. Thank you very much. This one you are looking as if somebody impregnated you and ran away from the house. What is the matter? Baba, Baba, please. Please and please. I'm in no mood for your wahala. Please, I beg you. Sorry, oh. I am only concerned because of the way you are frowning like a goat being taken to the night market. Baba, eh? Baba, you are looking for my trouble. You are looking for my trouble and I will give it to you. Come, your trouble loss. You don't even have a single respect for Elda, eh? I am only trying to help you, Nike. Thank you. I don't need your help. Take your help and go away. Please, take your help and go away. Uh -uh. Is it by force? Sure. Sure, you too. Just me go and look for my Abigail. Come, where is Abigail? Omoto die, Omoto show. 
or Mototo. The best nurse in this whole hospital. I will go and look for her. Rubbish and Robinson. Abby, oh! Abby! Hmm. Suddenly, imagine the rubbish. Suddenly, Abigail has become a hot cake for every Tom, Dick, and Harry. I will be here. I will see what will happen. I will be here waiting and watching rubbish. Abigail, Abigail, are you? Abigail, this. I beg. <sighs> yeah, my name is Abigail. Abigail, 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 Abigail. Everybody loves me. Abigail, 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 Abigail. Abigail. Everybody wants me. Abigail, 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 Abigail. Everybody loves me. Abigail, Abigail, Abigail. Abigail, what do you want? I want you to do something really important. Look, if it's money you want, I don't have money. I don't give out money to people that are not useful I to me. I don't want money. It's about my job. I want to change my job. <laughs> you want to change your job? To what? You know, I originally came here to be trained as a nurse. But the matron said there was no vacancy except as a cleaner. And man, I was desperate for a job, so I had to take it. So... How does that concern me, Anna? I want to become a nurse, like Rebecca and Sharon. Then you go and meet the matron. She's in charge of nurses, That's not exactly me. That's exactly my point. That's why I came to you. You know, I noticed that you are particularly close to matron, and I'm sure that you can help me talk to her. We've been telling you that. Wait, Rebecca told you that, right? Rebecca told me nothing. I saw you and Mitra myself. <sighs> okay. I'll see what I can do about that. Thank you. But you need to do me a personal favor. I promise you'll do it. What do you want? You. <laughs> really? I want you all to myself. You know, Abigail, you're the most beautiful girl in this hospital. Thanks for the compliment. You are. Just do exactly what I asked first. And then, I will consider your request. Consider it done. Thank you. Okay, deal. Deal. Everybody loves me. Abigail, 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 Abigail. Everybody wants me. Abigail, 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 Abigail. Everybody loves me, Abigail, 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 Abigail. Oh, I, 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 yeah, yeah. Mm. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. That's what you say to the very, very idle. And some of the patients are complaining that you're not giving them adequate attention. That's not true, Matron. We always answer our calls promptly. Really? Um, please, Matron. Who exactly are the patients that made such complaints? Because there are only two of us here and we can't split ourselves just to satisfy all of them at the same time. Exactly. We need more hands. Uh, okay. And I've been calling for that for days now. Well, that problem has been resolved. We have decided to add one man nurse to assist. Especially with our uh, caring for the inpatient in the various wards. Good news. <laughs> Finally. Thank you, Matron. I mean, what would be a lot easier for us now? Especially with that Baba Degede in the private world. I don't even like attending to him at all. Me too. Mm. That, that Baba is a basket case. Uh, I've never seen such an annoying old man in my life. Mm. Um, please, Matron, when is the new nurse resuming yeah. work? Today. Wow. wow. In fact, she has started already. Nurse Abigail, please come. What? Every day is just the same. Abigail, <laughs> please, Mitchell, sure. is this some kind of joke or what? She's oh, like, Abigail, you look wonderful. Sorry. Nurse Abigail from now on. Ah, uh, yes, Nurse Abigail. You're beautiful in your uniform. 
<laughs> well, Abigail. Yes, ma'am. Hope you would be a good nurse. Of course, ma'am. I have confidence in you. Yes, ma'am. So please do not disappoint. No, I won't. I won't disappoint you. Ma'am. All right, once again, congratulations. Thank you very much. Ma'am. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh, Thank you, dear friend. Happy birthday. Oh, my God. Happy birthday. Every day is just the same. Oh, I, yeah. Cause nothing really ever changes. Oh, I, different places everywhere. A different name is what you hear, what you hear. And it be like say everybody get its own different kind Wahala, wahala, wahala Yeah, you name they make me wanna holla, holla, holla Yeah, my name is Abigail, 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 Abigail Everybody loves me, Abigail, 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 Abigail Everybody wants me, Abigail, 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 Abigail Every day is just the same. Oh, Cause nothing really ever changes. Oh, yeah. Different places everywhere. <laughs> I have uh, I have come to greet you new. I hope you are getting better. You see, I am a patient from the other world. I have come to encourage you so that you can get well uh, quick. And that is why I've come to play with you. Uh, sorry, pray with you. I'm not a sick person. Leave me alone. I don't want your trouble this evening. Uh, so it is you. <laughs> I don't know it is you. Otherwise, I... Uh, I don't know it is Shalanga person like you. Otherwise, I wouldn't have uh, come here. Come. What are you even suffering from? Baba, I don't want your trouble. Wait, Seth. It'd be like, say, it must be sexually transmitted disease. Baba, leave me alone. I don't want your trouble. Leave me alone so that someone will accuse me of abusing an elderly person who can't respect himself. Get out. Look, Chapu, I am already on my way before you start talking. Baba, uh, what are you doing here? Thank God, you know what? Thank God. He just got in here and started accusing me. Ah, ah. So you can lie like this. Ah, this is not good for you. What are you say, Baba? What carried you to female ward? What are you looking for? No, Abigail. Help me ask him. I have come to you. What is uh, that which is scary? Are you a doctor? Mm. Nurse Baba Chagede? Ah, Abigail. Abigail. So you are now a nurse? No. Point of correction. I am now to be addressed as Nurse Abigail. All other protocols are duly suspended. Yes, it's true. I like. Anyway, uh, we will celebrate this dinner. Eh, uh, Baba Baba, please come and be going to your ward. We need to attend to our patients. I am ready on my way before you people came. Eh? Let me bag Get to help you. Baba. So that you do not, uh, you do not keep pocket. Yeah? Good night. Good night. Baba, go. Go. Good night. Can you imagine? He's so annoying. Calling me Shalanga. <clears throat> Why are you laughing? What is Shalanga? It's Baba will kill somebody. Shalanga means pig toilet. She knows the type was used in the olden days. My sister, don't mind you. Don't mind Please you. Please ignore the man. Don't mind you. <laughs> How are you feeling? Mm. Are you okay? Um, excuse me, Dr. Loverboy. Um. Congratulations. 
So you did this to spite me, didn't you? I beg your pardon. Are you talking to me? Who else is here? Of course I am talking to you. Now look, Rebecca. Let me warn you. Stay away from me. The other day you slapped me, I didn't do anything. Don't push it by disrespecting my personality. You have already done your worst and there's nothing you could do that would surprise me. Anyways, I have a good news for you. I am pregnant. What are you talking about? You're pregnant? Oh. Congratulations. The pregnancy is for you, Dr. Rutimi. And you can't deny it. You are out of your mind. Rebecca, I say you're crazy. I mean everything I'm telling you. I am carrying your baby. And you can't deny the fact that you've been sleeping with me. Dr. Rotimi, so what I've been hearing is true. But I asked you and you denied it. Look, Sharon, don't mind this girl, okay? She's just confused. Who is confused? Oh, Sharon, he has been asking you out too. This man is really a dog, a mad dog, for that matter. Dr. Rotimi, you lied to me. You deceived me. No, no. no Sharon, I, I, I didn't lie to you. Don't listen to her, okay? She's just talking trash, absolute nonsense. Get your hands off me, you swine. Oh, they... You've been sleeping with all of us and playing on our intelligence. I don't blame you. I blame myself for listening to and believing your stupid lies. Well, just be rest assured that I will fight you back with everything I have. Even if it means giving myself to area boys so that they will deal with you, I will gladly do it. Nonsense. You are a very wicked soul. Eh? Somebody is dying here and you still have the guts to be making trouble. Eh, 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 Baba, please just stop it. Ah, what is it? Find your business. Please come and help me. Let's carry out to the theater. Oh, please. I walk in this hospital with you people. Please now, let's carry out. Nonsense. Hey, hey, yes. ah. hey. hey. Ah. What is wrong with you? This kind of thing has never happened in this hospital before. Until some unqualified people use their bottom power to become a nurse. I'm sure they might have given the poor girl a wrong drug out of their sheer stupidity and inefficiency. Bia. Bia. Rebecca, I hope you're not referring to me. I hope you, you're not just referring to me at all. Ah. Thank God there are witnesses here who can testify that I wasn't referring to anybody. Hmm? Becky, 
Is this the kind of thing that you should be saying now? Eh? Instead of you to join me in prayer so that that girl will be better. Please just hold it there. Another boyfriend snatcher. Don't worry, I will deal with all of you one after the other. Rubbish. Rebecca, you are a very wicked soul. Yes. Come, yeah. why is it that people that are clever like you are always wicked and selfish? Come. Were you born on the wicked? Uh -oh. Or were they selling fish where they impregnated your mother? Baba, please just hold it there. Eh? Please just respect your old age. I wasn't talking to you. And please don't put your mouth in what does not concern you. Uh -uh. Come, old man. Come, what will you do if I do not my own, my own business? Yeah? I repeat, what can you do if I if if, if, if Mama, what can you do? Baba, Baba, it's okay. Please just Hi. take it easy. It's okay, Baba. Leave her alone. Baba. Just do not allow this stupid. You left foolish. You are the one that you are useless, Abigail. Don't you are the one that is the fool. Cheap block. I have got to sit. What is it? You all have started again. That is what the daughters had to say, all of you out of your operating theatre. You won't keep your mouth shut. We're very sorry, ma. Please, how is Bisola? Bishop, I beg, how is she? I hope uh, she did not kick the bucket. Over. Please, Matron, what's the situation? She's alive, ah. but she lost the pregnancy. Ah. Ah. Hallelujah! Hey! Oh, hey! Praise God, bro. Oh. Praise God, bro. After all, it is only the water that spilled away. The porch did not get broken. Yes, no. <laughs> ah, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank Please, you. I don't want to hear you. I will deal with all of you. We can soul. Why, Prince Tasha? We can soul. Hey! Nonsense. Guy! I've sent the police to arrest your stepfather. We discovered traces of a very powerful poison and the fruit juice is sent to you as part of your provisions. He's made some useful confessions to the police. His intention was to terminate the life of both you and the unborn child. He is going to be um, charged to court for attempted murder. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. <clears throat> that man is very wicked. Eh? After impregnating his stepdaughter, he still wants to go ahead and terminate her life. What is this world becoming for God's sake? Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, God. God bless you. All glory goes to God. Dr. Jojo Mal and Dr. Rotimi also helped to operate on you. Thanks to them, especially Baba and Miss Abigail. Thank you very much. God. Don't mention my daughter. Eh? My greatest concern eh, is that you just get well very quickly. Baba, I'm sorry for the way I used to talk to you. I'm very sorry as well for insulting you and calling you names. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss Ola. You're in safe hands now. And we will not let anyone hurt you again. Thank you. Your mother has been informed and she's on her way back. Thank you very much. I want to see my mommy. Don't worry. I will help. Your mom will be here. Thank you. Bisola, Bisola. <laughs> oh, my dad, dad. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah. Every day is just the same. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cause nothing really ever changes. Oh, wow. Different places everywhere, everywhere. A different name is what you hear, what you hear. And it be like say everybody gets its own different kind. Wahala, wahala, wahala. Yeah, you name they make me wanna holla, holla, holla. Hey, yeah, my name is Abigail, 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 Abigail. Everybody loves me, Abigail, 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 Abigail. Everybody wants me, Abigail, 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 Abigail,